Are you sick and tired of struggling to get to that inconvenient storage area under your bed? Has getting a change of clothing become a two-person project? Brian! What? Brian, get in here! What's wrong? I have to get under this bed again and it is driving me crazy! What's the we, problem? We have to have a solution. I can't lift this bed up without calling you every time. And I need hiking gear. Ready? All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. All right, I'm holding it. You got it? I got it. it. No, wait, man. Ah! Oh, no. Okay, go and get it. You got it. Go ahead. I can't, I'm scared. Come on, we got to figure out a different solution. Try a door. Doors make getting to hard to reach areas easier. Yes, doors do make getting into tough spaces easier. The problem is where do you find doors that match all the other wood you already have in your RV? Well, we were really lucky. If you've watched our dining room dinette demo, you know that we tore our dinette set out and we ended up with all kinds of extra parts that turned into our stovetop cover. And we also had two doors because the benches in the dinette uh, had storage in them and they were two doors. So we took those doors and thought, what in the world can we do with these? We didn't want to throw them away. And we thought the perfect place to put them would be under the bed because then that would avoid us having to lift up this heavy queen size mattress because we got a really nice yeah, thick mattress. Like a you nice see, mattress. You can see how thick that mattress it is. It is nice. But it is heavy, which makes lifting this up almost impossible. So here's the finished product. We took those doors from the front of the dinette Very nice. and we put them right there into this space. When you open them up, you can see we've got motion sensor lights that kick on automatically. We usually keep a couple of tubs in here. That's empty right now because we have not yet restocked uh, that area. We usually have some tubs in there that hold things like hiking boots and our backpacks and some bigger things that are extra stuff that we have that we don't have any other clothing storage for. If we were traveling more full time, this would probably be where all of our out of season clothes would go. But for now, it's where our toys go. So we keep bicycle helmets. Again, uh, we're gonna be keeping our scuba gear in here probably this summer. Uh, yes. So, or not scuba, snorkel. Snorkel, sorry. snorkel. Snorkel <laughs> gear in here. So a lot of our toys go in here in some tubs and it's an easy place to, and this is a great way to get to them. Yeah. So let me show you how we did this. So here's how the side of our bed looks currently. This is uh, the passenger side of the bed, uh, which is my side. And uh, you can see here, we actually have some cat doors put in. We thought this would be a good hiding place for the cats. So we put some cat beds and some toys in there and put cat doors in, but they've never really utilized the space. They weren't real crazy about it. So what we're gonna do here is today, the project, the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna be putting this door in and it's gonna go right here. It'll open this way so that it's the easiest access. So I just have to lift the bed up and uh, take some measurements and start doing some cutting. So I've taken out the cat door. So I'm now to the point where you would be if you're doing this project on your own, except I do already have a hole here because of the cat door. So the first thing I did was I cut a couple of pieces of two by two to the size of the vertical space here in between the top and the bottom railing. So I just need to get those screwed in and I'm going to start out with the first one right over here. I'm going to go figure this. Everything in the RV may not be exactly square, so I may end up having a piece that's a little bit too tall. Okay. That's going to be one, one arm. Now I've got already measured and the opening of my doorway from the middle from right here where this is going to latch to the middle of my other beam is going to be 18 and three quarters. So that way I will be able to screw the hardware directly into the middle of this uh, stud, I guess we could call it. So I'm just going to put that one in. So now I just need to put a top piece across here. I'm not gonna worry about a bottom piece because as you can see, I've got this bottom rail. So that gives the bottom of this uh, panel some nice stability. I'm gonna measure the top, the width of the door, 
and put another rail right across here just to make this panel nice and strong because as we're taking things in and out, it'll probably get banged and I don't want to rip it off. All right, so I've got a drill here and I'm just gonna drill a hole into each corner so I've got some place to start with my blade to cut these out. stop because what I have not done yet is I didn't tack the paneling into the base and I'm gonna do that so that it's not moving like this just to make things a whole lot easier for me all right so I knocked some nails in there and um, I it's a good opportunity for me to say that I am NOT a carpenter and I am just kind of a do-it-yourselfer who's not afraid of taking a risk so uh, I'm sure if you are a woodworker or a carpenter you've got saying oh he's doing this all wrong and I am absolutely positive there are probably better ways to do this this is the way I'm doing it and I think it's gonna work for us. So uh, I've got some nails in here now, so this isn't gonna wobble around on me. And I'm just gonna finish cutting out this doorway. Now that I've got that finished, I'm gonna grab my sander and make the uh, outside edge of this look smooth it out a little bit because it's a little rough from the cutting. All right, so I've got everything finished on this side. The door's in. Um, it was too dark back here in this corner to be able to show you installing it, but basically it was just a matter of putting in the screws on the hardware and then putting in the screws on the little clasp. And now you see we've got a nice doorway that opens up to make it a whole lot easier to get into this uh, cabinet. We're gonna, under the bed, and we're going to uh, try to find some like under the bed tubs. So there's just a tub right there that we can just slide right out. And that's a, gonna be a great project. So now all I have to do is the other side. Oh, it never ends, does it?